All right. Um, it is January 9th, 2023, and I've been inspired by Pete Peterson. He said that something that he does on every in January of every year, it's a yearly update. Um, I'm currently 57, so I guess we'll strive for 58 points. He has 46. This should be interesting. Um, I'm going to bounce my whatever it is I use in this list off of his stuff. So, um, number one, I'm usually not in Facebook jail, but I do get a variety of restrictions. And I'm always down in the lower feed. I've got 30 pages. So they vary in many different ways, shapes, or form. But Ms. B.J. Peart, that's what yours truly pretty much appears. But I've got pages like um, uh, Charleston Middle Passage, Remembrance, Low Country Rhythms, Gullah Geechee Kitchen, uh, Sacred Burial Sites of Our African Ancestors, We Be Drumming, Humans of Charleston, S.C., I support pages of uh, low country artists such as Ann Caldwell and um, Oscar Rivers. And for a while, I had an amazing time with Star Atchison doing jazz on the edge. Um, I have never done the polar plunge on New Year's Day. New Year's Day, uh, for a while, when I'm in Charleston, it was usually Imani uh, for Kwanzaa in honor of the ancestors at the sacred burial site of our African ancestors, which is attached to the McLeod Plantation, a cultural interpretive site um, founded in 1678. It sits at uh, Maybank and Folly Roads. I do not drive at all. I have Dick Ravain's Carpal Tunnel and Cubital Tunnel. I am a professional passenger. I haven't been a sugary drink person in a while. Water, uh, water is life. Water has been my best friend for a while. Um, I love to cook. Um, I do like traveling, I must say, but I like traveling for long periods of time. Those two, three day jaunts, my body just, it's not into that. I need to settle in, breathe, and be part of the atmosphere. Um, hmm. Going back to school. I like going into schools and having conversations. <laughs> Being part of the student activities. Um, I do miss those who have gone before, but I understand that their work here on this earthly plane is done. I have not been to a movie theater in guaranteed a decade. Um, I like working with kids. I just need to work in a space and place that is unencumbered by um, governmental restriction on time. Uh, communities thrive 24 hours. You... Evening programs, night programs work. We know that they work, not just in sports, but in arts and in culture. Um, and one needs a standalone space and place to cultivate those arts and culture and carry on and preserve tradition and customs. And that would be a huge impact on young people elders and communities and everyone else in between. Um, whoo, babies look good. I, I'm old. I leave my ovaries alone. Honeybees are very interesting works of art. Aha! Uh -huh. My favorite albums, I didn't own many. Cameras took over, so records had... You cannot have competing interests in your pocket as a teenager. You had to define. And photography was where my money went. But Michael Jackson's Off the Wall album, I got it for myself for Christmas. I even got the poster from the store. Yes, the big stand-up cutout and gave that, self, gave that to myself for Christmas, so that could be a good one. 
Um, I do eat oatmeal, and I don't mind oatmeal cookies. Um, I have a collection of <laughs> digital photography and videography documenting the low country parts of Ecuador, Trinidad, and Jamaica with an emphasis on culinary and uh, cultural expression that is priceless. Um, I love mangoes, even though I haven't had any on this trip. I'm currently in Jamaica. Uh, it's winter time. I head for heat. Um, nope, I haven't had any on this trip. I don't really have any favorite foods, per se. <clears throat> I like food. And then now that I have, oh gosh, dentures, God. My dentures have never tasted food. I opted to heal without temporary dentures. So uh, I got that mom's Mabley look at times. I just like being comfortable. Some of my best memories... I guess one could say they involve travel. <laughs> I've been roaming around since I, I was three, so travel. <clears throat> I'm not big on lotion. I'm big on vitamin E. Yeah, I like liquid vitamin E. Um, I didn't know any of my grandfathers. We barely know, we know first and last names. We don't know middle names. We don't know dates. So I know nothing about grandfathers. Ooh, I wouldn't mind a colonic. That's a good thing. A good thing. I had one once. I need to have one again. Mm, yeah, I can get that. I consciously try to make sure that what I say or do, I wholeheartedly stand behind it. But... If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I can't humble myself, retract my statement, and offer an apology. Um, yeah, my tribe, my tribe, my tribe is true. <laughs> uh, um, you know, we, we all have our reasons why we walk this earth. Uh, let's see. Um, my mother said I knew how to survive. She wanted to know when I'd learn how to live. Um, it's a wonderful mixture that has me in this life right now. Uh, woo, so what I do to ramen is amazing. Damn near chop up everything under the sun. Hanging around, it's hanging around too many damn chefs, but it's just that it's ramen and I can bring it to life with color and and seasoning. And uh, K-dramas did that. I, I can't cook ramen and just have it normal. I watch too many K-dramas. <laughs> I got an interesting tolerance of pain. Um, hmm. I want to sell popcorn in a movie theater. 40th Street, 40th and Market, Philadelphia. I guess I couldn't get to work in a movie theater in New York. My brother snitched, was about to snitch and say I had a job when they didn't want me to have a job. Go figure. Um, I've been, as a teenager, I was and Livewire. Livewire is one of the early shows of Nickelodeon. And, um, <laughs> oh, wow, Alice Myatt and Yvonne Hill Ogunkoya were the producers, and I was brought from the audience to be a consumer reporter, working with Fred Silverman uh, from Channel 5 Studios up to Studios on the Upper West Side. Um, yeah, I, I've been at this a while. 
I met Michael Jackson and is it Bonds um, clothing store in New York had a good length of conversation with him. Actually, he was the impetus for me to go ahead and do the TV show. Because if I can meet Michael by chance, you know, go ahead and do this TV show that they definitely had a list of whoever was coming in all the time. So I can thank um, Michael Jackson <laughs> for getting me to go and do LiveWire on Nickelodeon. <clears throat> I did, uh, let's see, radio for WBAI. Um, that was during the Hunter College Gifted Youth Program when I was at Willoughby Junior High School 162. Shout out to Norma and John Gonzalez. Oh, they made life much easier. A transition year from Jamaica where I was a year or two ahead in work but uh, behind in age was not easy. And Norma Gonzalez made it amazing. It was mm -hmm. just that simple. Um, um, uh, let's see, <laughs> I have been to, I've crossed the equator, <laughs> I've crossed the equator, um, actually a couple of times, going from Libertad to Esmeraldas and Esmeraldas back to Libertad when I was in Ecuador, um, I like nuts, but they didn't always like me. I can have moments. And then now that I have these, like I said, food has not taken my, I have not yet taken my dentures to the next level. I'm still working on speaking with them because I tend to like to flip between languages and moments and accents and views. You know, like yada yada talk, I'm saying, and but it's more important to us when it's things like that, and I have not yet fully navigated that with the dentures. I, you know, I'm here taking for granted the fact that I can still purr like a cat, because I do have my tonsils and I do have my uvula. Um, hell yeah, I love old people. I keep a heck of a crew in Charleston, um, and I'm grateful for them. I've been, Ellie, I worked with backstage on Saturdays. We did costumes. Then Steer to Harlem, I think we saw in performance. My go-to group, group in New York was Forces of Nature. I got to do the episode of Reading Rainbow with Mafaro's Beautiful Daughters. Um... Uh, Ibae, Daniels, Abusha Bass, and Ibae. He's how I um, ended up being in that video. You can see me and my camera. And also introduced me to an over 30 year relationship with uh, the world of Luca Me Santorea and Paula Mayombe and having a locoon and just an amazing. Measure of life. Um, I don't watch too much quote unquote TV. I watch in Hollywood. I just, it's the melanin popping and the places looking like Jamaica. And at times, accents and oh, the fashion, fashion and architecture always off the chain. Um, somewhere that probably did more than the 58, but it was um, an encouragement from. <clears throat> A post by Mr. Peterson, and um, so I'm I'm in, I'm enjoying the moment. I'm grateful. There's those who said they actually wanted to hear me speak for a while. So here's 15 minutes of me speaking about a whole lot of stuff. And yes, I had my first dark room at 14, and I've been taking pictures since I was about seven, and that's now led to there's a whole 30 years that went in the landfill. 30 years of stuff, but. I'm grateful for the 50 terabytes that we have of recent travels from 2010 until now. Until next time, peace.